Hey everyone, welcome to a brand new day and this, a brand new devotion from Audacious Church. Today I want to take a minute just to look at one Bible verse, but it's actually part of a great story. So let me just give you a bit of a setup. In 2 Kings chapter 5, we find the story of a great leader. His name is Naaman. He was a great leader, the Bible says, but he was sick. He had this incurable degenerative skin disease. So he was desperate. He was in desperate search of a solution to find a miracle. And in his search, he stumbled across some stories of a prophet, a man of God, who seemed to be used by God to bring about miracles. And so he prepared gifts and this carnival style presentation to go off and get an audience with this man of God and hopefully impress him with this caravan of, I don't know, celebration, um, hoping that he would find favour in the eyes of this man of God and, of course, God, so that he could receive a miracle of his own. When he arrived, Elisha, that was the name of the man of God, um, disappointingly didn't even come out and see him. What he did instead was he sent out a servant with instructions for Naaman to simply wash in a local dirty river seven times and then he would be healed. Naaman was completely offended by the very notion of something so underwhelming and left in a sulk. Then in verse 13 of 2 Kings chapter 5, we see the genius of Naaman's servant and it's the key verse for today's devotion. It says this in verse 13, but his servants caught up with him and said, Father, if the prophet had asked you to do something hard or heroic, wouldn't you have done it? So why not this simple wash and be clean? Like many of us, Naaman had fallen for the go big or go home rhetoric. And so he missed the power of the moment and almost missed his miracle. The servant was exposing Naaman's obsession with image when he said um, that if the answer was hard or heroic, then Naaman would not have a problem with it. But because the key to success was simple and possibly underwhelming, he was about to make a bad decision. Here's the thing. Hard things get sympathy because everyone loves an underdog. So there's something strangely attractive about doing the hard thing. Heroic things get celebrated. So everyone loves a hero. There's obviously something in all of us that longs to be a hero. Everyone loves the kudos of the publicly celebrated, the publicly celebrated extra mile, but often it's at the expense of the hidden, unnoticed, uncelebrated, boring even, first mile. The problem with this kind of perspective is that we live from event to event, hoping that the next epic, grandiose idea will save our marriage, our kids, our friendship, our business, our ministry, or whatever it is, when in reality, what we need to do is be consistently kind, put others first, serve, give, pray, worship, go to church, put the bin out, wash up, give someone a ride, pay for the drink, smile, be polite, ask an interested question. It's actually not rocket science or Instagram worthy, but it will build a life of strength and confidence. The Bible puts it this way in Luke chapter 16, verse 10. It says, if you are faithful in the little things, in the context of 2 Kings chapter 5, the simple things, then you will be faithful in the large ones. Again, in 2 Kings 5, the heroic or the hard things. Guys, today, don't worry about the large things, the heroic things, the hard things. Just be faithful without the applause or without the celebration or without the spotlight because God will take care of the rest. Listen, you do the first mile, let God take care of everything else, knowing that he is faithful. Guys, have an absolutely fantastic day. If you've got a minute, then why don't you take the time to read the whole story, 2 Kings chapter 5.
and know the power of today's verse. I want to finish by praying for you. But first, I want to just read that verse again. Verse 13, the servants caught up with him and said, Father, if the prophet had asked you to do something heroic or hard, wouldn't you have done it? So why not this simple thing? Father, I pray for everyone who's watching this devotion today, that God, you would be with them, give them the courage and confidence to take care of the simple, daily, possibly underwhelming, even boring stuff, because we know that it brings or builds a life of strength. Help us to be consistent, help us to be faithful, help us to be servant-hearted, help us to be kind. We need you to help us do that. And we trust you with the rest. We trust you that what your word says in Matthew 6.33 is true, that we, if we seek first your kingdom, then everything else will be added unto us. Let that be true of audacious church and audacious people in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great day.